<laughs> yeah! Polymeg is coming, bitches! <laughs> oh man! Finally! <laughs> so, I was uh, looking at my email earlier, not expecting anything, and turned away from it, looked at my phone, and I've got this app called Shop that goes through like your email and stuff like that and checks for deliveries and puts it all into the app. From the, from the few seconds of me looking at my email to firing up the app to see if Shining Wisdom was on its way, bam, right there at the top was the Polymega. And I'm like, Whoa! <laughs> oh man, I am so happy about that. <laughs> oh, so the only downside is that it's not due until the 30th. So I'm going to keep an eye on it over the next couple of days. If that stays solid, then I may rearrange next week's uh, stream schedule so that we do the Super Nintendo stuff that I have planned for Sunday on Tuesday instead. And uh, maybe do Saga Frontier on Sunday or Monday. Um, just to, you know, because I've been wanting to do that. And, you know, what better way to put it through its paces? Um, I may also take the day off and start the stream earlier than usual uh just to kind of show off the 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 po uh polymega in some regards um but uh yeah so i'm gonna be keeping an eye on that over the next couple of days to see how uh how the arrival is timed and uh i will uh keep keep you posted via twitter of course but, oh man, I am so looking forward to that. And you know what's one of the things that I'm looking forward to the most? Just sitting down with the thing. You know, maybe even just like setting it up in my lap or off to the side here. Just sitting in, on the recliner. Have it plugged into the, the TV off to the side. Um, you know, maybe watching something else on my big screen and just cartridge after cartridge. Disc after disc. Loading it down. <laughs> getting everything uh, getting everything in there and just available as much as it'll hold um, and I am really looking forward to that so uh, yeah <laughs> okay so another another thing if you were in the stream earlier before I restarted it and I, 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 I can see that I'm still dropping a frame here and there, so sorry about that, but um, you might have noticed that the soda changed from pineapple banana to just pineapple, and that is because I misread the label. It says pineapple and ananas on there, which I thought was just, you know, okay, so they meant to put the B and it got scraped off or something like that. No, I found out that ananas is French for pineapple. <laughs> and that this is just basically bi-wing bilingual. So okay. You uh you you crazy Canadian folks, you you have your fun. This is from uh Stony Creek, Ontario. And yes, the whole thing is definitely bilingual. Oh yes, I got a bunch of... I got like a set of three ter one terabyte SSDs a while back on sale. Uh, one is in my daily driver laptop. The other I had meant to put in my streaming laptop, but it doesn't take the right kind of SSD. And the third one I was planning to put in the Polymega. 
but I also have an SS or, uh, an SD card, a micro SD card, that'll give it another 400 gigabytes of storage. So I should be able to fit everything on there. And it's kind of weird that I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> So I would have loved to have to see what pineapple banana would taste like. But I do love a good pineapple soda, and this is a good pineapple soda. has just the right amount of bite from the pineapple. And uh, it's a, a good amount of fizz, too. So, good job, Pop Shop. You're doing well so far. Okay. Now, let's get cracking and see if we can't have another uh, fantastic uh, thing happen tonight and maybe cap off Loot's quest. Let's find out. Oops, that's still four by three. Let's fix that. Doop, doop. Yeah, I was kind of wondering that too. And yes, thank you. I will definitely check that. Um, should be fine, but we're not going to assume that this time. Uh, let's see here. Cheats. Nope, that is weird. Okay. Load cheat file. There we go. Just going to turn that empty one off. And we should be good. Okay. And I hit the X button. I'm I I've never gotten used to that. 20 some odd years of playing this stuff, 30 maybe and no, 20. Yeah. Almost 30 years since the uh um PlayStation released. Just 3 more years for that. Cool. Okay, I think, if I remember correctly, <clears throat> we have three of the cards. Yeah, we have three of the cards. We just need to get the one on in Mosperaberg. So we need to go through Erpo. Yep, I only have one card left. Good. Yep, the hard one, but that's that's kind of why I was like, all right, let's let's start the stream with that today. Yep. There we go. You know, I'm I'm starting to think that out of all of the characters in the game, um, all of the party members in the game, that Suzaku Jr. is probably going to be the toughest one to grab for the uh, requisite trophy in uh, uh, Saga Frontier Remaster. Catch on quick. Let's go to Moss Baraburg. It's a flower that only blooms on this mountaintop. We're gonna get it. 
Okay. <laughs> wow, isn't taking much to evade these guys. All right, Let, let's see if we can do this. It may wreck us, but we're going to try it anyway. It's not hard, it's tedious. And unfortunately, the card that would help us the most, the shield card, we don't have yet. But we do have million dollars. Yep. I remember you saying that last time. Let's do a dream super combo. And... Let's see. Anything else that we've got? Is it susceptible to death touch? Let's do ground hit. And... Oh yeah, light sword for the uh, um, power boost, and then we'll start casting spells. And bound shot. Okay, <laughs> it's only gonna. Eh, well. <laughs> I was not expecting a one-hit kill. And we got everything on the Dream Super Combo. Oh, wow! Okay. Um, let's see here. I think we'll just go with Headwind. Dream Super Combo, but Captain Hamilton, I'm going to need you to start scraping folks up. Nope. No. Power Cure. And... Rouge. Thank you. Okay, a little bit short on that one, but I'll take it. And Rouge. Uh... Starlight Heal. Yeah. I was debating whether to go all out on uh, healing or to er, go all out on attack or to actually scrape them up. Damn. Okay. Keep going. You go back to bound shot. Come on, do the full thing. Eh, close. Ah, dang it. Hey, yeah, there we go. Anytime we can avoid uh, damage is a good one. Alright, you can't do Dream Super Combo anymore. 
Let's see if we can giant swing you out. And you need to go back to Power Cure Thunder. Damn it. So Thunder isn't going to get to absorb the Black Dragon. Oh well. At least we get the stuff. Thousand credits. Golden Fleece. Sanctuary Stone. Lord Star. Chris Knife. Octopus Board. Okay. I am unfamiliar with a lot of that, so let's see what we've got. All right, so we've got the Lord Star. Attack Power 51 and Braveheart. Golden Fleece. We actually have two of those? Okay. Um, Chris Knife. Nothing too terribly special. Okay. I might as well use a Sanctuary Stone here, because that took a lot out of us. And I've got four of them, so... There we go. Yeah. <laughs> ah, you missed. So that wasn't too bad. Still a bit of a challenge, though. Like, they didn't wipe me immediately this time. <laughs> oh, right. Air throw. And... Yeah, ground hit. Captain Hamilton, we're definitely going to need to upgrade your guns. In just a satchel of Richards. Come on. I don't mind getting into a couple of fights here. No, no, no. Okay. Sometimes uh, censoring oneself is funnier than saying the actual vulgarity. Um... And that was actually something I got off of a meme somewhere. <laughs> Where it was like some uh, medieval tapestry or something like that. Where, where it said, Thou shalt ingest a satchel of Richards. <laughs> and I thought it was hilarious. It was in the back of my mind, so... You know, like the uh, unnecessary censorship thing from, uh, uh, was it? I can't remember who did that uh, unnecessary censorship thing, um, but it was freaking hilarious, especially when they take on stuff like, uh, whoops, hold on, ground hit isn't going to do anything here, especially when they take on stuff like uh, um, Mr. Rogers.
the count yes bleeping it every time he says the word count <laughs> When I'm alone, I beat myself. <laughs> yeah, I would assume that ground hit doesn't hit aerial enemies. Is my assumption incorrect? I mean, that's how it works in pretty much every other RPG. Okay. Good to know. This, yeah. Okay. Hello. Is that something that you could potentially fix? No, fix. No, that is the reason I have all these uh, napkins by my chair. Okay. Um, swallow swing. Wait, no, let's try Heaven Hill. Let's see if that does anything. Well, no, nah, we'll do that. Um, what was it you said that, is, that isn't considered a physical attack suplex? That's a good point, yeah. Suplex, yeah. Okay. And we'll just energy chain. Good. Ah, thank you for blocking that. Oh, we don't need that. We get the uh, if we get the snowman here, I'll go back and get Suzaku Jr. But if not, I'm not gonna bother. Oh crap! That's right, unicorns. Oh uh, well, we gotta try to absorb that. Oh wait, that's right. We were trying to. Uh, no, let's conserve AP for now. Um, air throw, light ball, because it's kind of awesome. Don't unicorns have, like, realm magic, too? Pow pow. You dead. Absorb the unicorn. Stampede. Damn. Energy chain. Okay. That's that's why I thought it had realm magic. Cause it does. 
but only with energy chain. Do -do -do. No snowman, but I want to try to get that unicorn. Level 2 combo! Sweet. Yeah, well, Life Rain is the big thing because it's like, heal everyone if I remember correctly. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate it. I try to be on top of stuff like that myself. Haha, uh -huh, you missed. You know, I was actually thinking about this the other day. Um, uh, how do I do that again? Um, one sec here. Okay, well, let's get this out of the way. Couldn't absorb anything. That's bullshit. You definitely could, you just didn't want to. Okay. Okay. Give me one moment here. Seriously, this is overdue. You have definitely been a VIP to this channel for this contribution here. So, <laughs> and I was I I had just thought of it last week and I'm and uh, totally forgot about it until now. <laughs> I mean, it sucks because I'm just almost done using it. Better late than never, I guess. But I'm definitely grateful to uh, for you introducing this because it really has livened up the, uh, the experience. <laughs> yeah, diamond. For a second I'm like, does it look like a star to you? Does it look different to everybody else? <laughs> Aw, oh, come on. I got robbed. It's not even a frickin' unicorn. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Stink gas.
Come here, you. <laughs> ah, again, no unicorn. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> I think I will move on after this. I mean, I don't need it. I, I don't think I'm going to bother going to that room in Kurong. Um, I just figured while I was here, I'd make a, uh, make a go at it. <clears throat> there we go. Not going to affect that form. There we go. Although this area has been really good for uh, leveling up. No, not really. Got a lot of uh, stat ops, but... Uh, there we go. Oh, you're right. you you still got 60, so that's good. I'm still going to try stun shot. Yeah, that's why I figured I'd just move on. Nice. Always weird to see an enemy pull off something like that. Ah, and I'm guessing that, uh, as you put it, fairy shitting room is one of them. Yep. Yeah, I, I knew about that room and I've actually exploited that before. Um, in this run, just not recently. Yeah, I picked up something that I didn't see what it was. Ooh, harmonium bangle. Well, it would be nice to have. Because there really aren't any other heal everybody abilities. But loot's final boss isn't really that bad if you've powered yourself up at all. This must be the flower. 
Oh shit! Okay, let's do... Well, let's open up with a million dollars. And... Dream Super Combo. And... Let's do Light Ball, see if that'll actually blind it. I want to try Psychic Prison on it. And we will definitely bump up to Bound Shot. I love how the flames go upside down. <laughs> okay, so I can dream super combo with impunity. That's good to know. Okay. Wing isn't affected by psychic prison. Got it. Um, let's go... Let's work with Headwind, because we want to try to learn some new skills. Lightball didn't really seem to do anything, so we'll go to Ground Hit. Uh, you go ahead and Starlight Heal Jen. And Captain Hamilton with a Bound Shot. This is probably the most I've been able to dream super combo in a certain ru s single run in, like, forever. <laughs> there we go. That wasn't so bad. Oh, Sacred Song. Nice. And the Triclops form. Yeah, I would assume so. But it's kind of weird. There, there's got to be some sort of flag in the system. Um, that determines whether it's considered magic or not. And there we have the shield card. Received ability for arcane magic. Yay. Okay, before I forget... Oh! He doesn't have any open slots. Well, shit. I'm going to take out... Well, no, that's right. Scream was part of the form that we've got. Uh, let's just do it instead of... Uh, bolt Breath. I know Bolt Breath is kind of there for, for combos, but... Yeah. I I didn't want to swap out Gale Attack because so many things are resistant to Sonic Attack in this game. Okay. Um, you know what, Light Sword? You can bugger off. We need to... Oh, we need to buy an Arcane Spell first. So, I think you mentioned that you had done something to try to make it so that uh, they automatically got the spells when they got the uh, the gift. That doesn't seem to have worked. Uh, 
Oh, I see what you're getting at. So I could just use those uh, items to learn stuff without having to purchase the spells. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I get it now. I get it now. That's usually not how... Again, I, I, I wasn't thinking in that regard. Um... Man, I'd love to do the, the mind magic thing, but we won't really get anything out of it. Because our only mage is Rouge. Let's head over to... Um... Let's let's buy some new guns for uh Oh no, wait, 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 wait. Let's go to Shingro. We haven't gone through the uh um the ship dungeon yet. And that will give us some free weaponry. Plus more stuff to buy. Plus it's a dungeon for us to go through that we can gain spells. I know I have access to Time Lord now. I'm actually debating whether to do that or try to finish Loot's quest. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what that was on my camera. That's just the base of uh, Cat Sling. Okay. Let's just do a quick full save here. Okay, and then we also need to give Rouge Hmm. Well, that's better than what he had. Okay. Hi, Siren. Come on up. I know you can make the jump. Here you are. Hi. <laughs> Okay. Oops. I did not rest. That's fine. We should be fine. Nothing here is likely to tax us all that much. Um, okay. Rouge. Gold! And Captain Hamilton. Just go with a regular gun. Well, with with the Abyss Bat, I've got Gale Slash. Oh, yeah, Abyss Bat, not the regular bats. All right, come on. Give us a spell. Saber, fantastic.
Okay. First thing I want to do is see if there's if we've got something better than the golden fleece for rouge. Uh, not really. I mean, we've got the suits. Uh, no, even those aren't. Okay. <laughs> so I see. Uh, equipability. We'll just uh, replace light sword with a different kind of magic sword. <laughs> Look, dude, I took out those two dragons on the on the cave in the cave of Mosperberg. I'm not too terribly worried about the Abyss Bat. <laughs> okay. Let's do double slash, air throw, gale attack. Saber. And stun shot. <clears throat> well, that was underwhelming. Haha. <laughs> What was that? I didn't hear it. Mm, fuckers. Okay. Well, stun shot didn't really seem to do much of anything, so. <clears throat> Fair enough. We've got two of them, too. Maybe I should uh, look at giving it to someone else. There's shield. Um, no, I'm going to stick with the, the sabers just for learning purposes, but shield is definitely going to get put into the rotation. Um, okay, that's what I was going to do. Um, harmonium armor, fine. Blue elf, fine. Armor vest. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I think I am going to just use some weapon points here. Haha, <laughs> deflect. Boy. Boy. And there's the Grail card. Good. Oh, damn. Shame I don't have a mech in the party.
Mm, now let's do trick shot. Yay, level two combo. There we go. <laughs> Was it the one from uh, Pushing Up Roses? <laughs> wow, tower already. Nice. Hey, it's rotten meat. Ah. Okay. <laughs> um Dang it, I got that wonderful uh uh, sacred song attack and then I get tossed into a dungeon that pretty much has 90% sonic resistant enemies <laughs> well at least it's on Paramount Plus so there's some way for you to watch it Yay, photosynthesis. Oh, what was that magic? Is that gold? I think it was gold. Okay, so all we have left is death, magician, and fool. Oh, you can Sacred Song the Bats. Oh, okay. I thought they were resistant to Sonic. Haha! <laughs> nope. Well, I'm glad he can potentially learn a spell even if he didn't cast a spell. There's Magician. Slash, air throw, sacred song, which should be extra effective against the death knight there. It is? I don't remember watching it. Nice. What wife? <laughs> Yay, the death spell.
Yeah, I've known Jesha for like over 20 years now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any luck on uh, seeing whether I can get on the uh, HBO Max? <laughs> You're also on my Amazon. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. <laughs> nah, no. Nah. I mean, okay, if you've got a family account and you know, you're paying for extra people to access that account. I'm paying extra for, like, my Hulu family account, and I've got a couple of other people using using my Hulu account because I'm paying for the extra. I don't let it, just anybody access it. But, you know, I'm paying for it. Might as well have it be used. <laughs> There's that too. I don't, I don't know. It's been a while since I've used Hulu. <clears throat> like a couple months. One of the main reasons I'm keeping it around is for uh, when uh, the Orville comes back. Okay, now equipability. I think he's got all of the arcane magic now. Yep. We're all good. So, I'm going to swap this out for... Um, trying to think of what might be useful in uh, Loot's final dungeon here. Fool seems like it might be useful. Tower is always ridiculous. Yeah, I took Light Sword off, though, because... I mean, it might might not be bad in the final battle, but, like... Don't those benefits go away the instant you die? Or do they persist? It does persist through death. Okay. Then I am going to slide Grail in here and put a uh, light sword back here. There we go. Oops. Okay. Fine. Whoops, nope, ah, crap.
It'd be hilarious if that added, like, the drunk effect, if uh, there wasn't a status effect to re heal. <laughs> Mega Wind Blast hits harder than Vermilion Sand? That's actually good to know. Hey there, Infamous. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> you two whooping at each other. Like a pair of whooping snakes. Okay, it took me a while to realize you were talking about uh, Dragon Quest Eight there. <laughs> because there's a Baccarat Casino in Saga Frontier also. There's not really anything you can do there with saves coming, but... <laughs> okay. Da -da 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 -da. Right... Magic, Mega Wind Blast, there we go. Nope, I almost blew through that again. There we go. Lullaby. Sure. Yay, fire kiss. Oh, there I am. Okay. I love how th when it's zoomed out like that, the mobs still move at the same rate. But because it's zoomed out, they end up moving twice as fast. Damn it. Yeah, you're not gonna block the song. I mean, I guess she could always go la 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 la. Okay, let's absorb the Dark Fairy. Nope. Hey, 200 credits. And a bird. And a dragon. Well, at least it's a red dragon. Should be able to clear that easily enough. I like that flame effect.
Well, that didn't do much good. <laughs> that did. I know. <laughs> I, I know. I realized that after it, after it started up, I'm like, <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> and the red dragon was all dumbass. <laughs> Hey, it's memory board. You can use that to, I don't know, file your mech's nails. Oh, shit. Um, get rid of that air folk. Those things can get nasty. Sure, we'll flash fire again. Okay, we're good. I mean, who knows? Maybe the Red Dragon didn't realize it was supposed to be resistant to fire and it would work anyway. That's how things work, right? Okay, was there something down here? No? Okay. Yeah! <laughs> ground hit works on something that isn't on the ground. All bets are off. There, there was, okay, I thought I got, I, I did get, like, 200 credits that were over here. Yeah. Are you ready to rock? Oh, no. I gotcha. No, I don't think I'm going to come back to this area. <laughs> oh, there's a wyvern. Alright, focus on that little bastard. Okay, fair enough. Bye bye. Manticore absorbed Beetlejuice. Uh oh. Now if I use that spell three times, does it summon uh Michael what's his name? <laughs> I always thought the um, uh, slime bingo was amusing.
Michael Keaton, yes. Lullaby. Ha! My song is stronger. <laughs> right? It kind of would be. <laughs> That'd be a hilarious thing to add in. Like, okay, let's see here. What would it summon that would be appropriate? I mean, other than, you know, uh, one of the pr ladies in prisoner garb. Maybe the zombie? Like the a, a palette swap of the zombie sprite. Fair enough. <laughs> no, I'm I'm just kind of contemplating now. Zero worm? Eh. Because I'm thinking the zombie sprite is the thing that looks the closest to uh uh um to beetlejuice and then you'd uh you know just adjust his stats and abilities to be a lot more uh interesting than your standard zombie Could be interesting to be like, or could even be interesting to be like a one-time summon. Like you use the spell three times. Uh, it comes in, does a crap ton of damage, because the battle will have had to have gone. It has to be three times in the same battle. Um. Oops. So three times in the same battle, summons him, he does some, uh, you know, damage and maybe some status effects. And then you lose the ability until you absorb it again. Oh, there's that too. The Zero Worm is definitely full of Beetlejuice. Seed Vulcan! Alright, we're gonna go up this way first. Boop. Oh, hell, a Dullahan. Oh. Okay. Okay, we're, we're, we're fine. Uh. Um, yeah, screw it. It's as close as we're going to get to a boss in this dungeon. Dang. Ooh. Learned one of the uh, higher level ta uh, attacks. And he blocked the Mega Wind Blast.
Okay, let's uh, keep doing that. And try to do the giant swing. You seem to be immune to the sacred song, so let's go with ground hit. Uh, heal yourself, Rouge. Keep going with the bound shot. Well, then I'm lucky it didn't work on uh, Thunder there. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. <laughs> Stampede? Already had that. Lots of stat ups, though. Okay. Damn it. Time Eclipse. Well, and a crystal tree, too. Interesting. That's probably Sonic Immune. Oh, damn it, that's right. <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay, fortunately, Jen didn't have to get embarrassed by me forgetting that you can't uproot a tree in this game. Ah, stone gas! We have all of the components we need for this. Um, let's see here. Do I have it in my notes? No, I don't. Uh, what were the components for uh, the black drag dragon again? I do not want to deeply regret what I just did. I bet there is. I mean, there's those uh, Gemini twins. Oh, that's not what you're talking about, though. Um, okay, equipability. Let's do stone gas instead of scream. Um, I'm pretty sure I have... Fang, but let's double check that. Yep, there's Fang. So it's Stone Gas, Fang. <laughs> I'm making a joke about you saying that there was a decent place to get some tail in the Time Lords region. <laughs> Uh, tail hit. Okay. Dang it, I have to get rid of all these very useful things. Stone gas, fang, and tail or tail hit. Got it. I have I hear a cat snoring behind me. Okay, yep, I don't have tail or tail hit. Dang it. Okay. You know, I could probably swap out uh death touch. when we get to that point. Let's 
300 credits. Okay, so stone gas. Bang. Tail or tail hit. I'm just writing this down for future reference. Okay. Kind of awesome that uh, it's very possible that we could get Dream Super Combo and the Black Dragon in the same run through. Okay, great, you learned something new, but I'm going to take Kasumi out of there because that's going to potentially waste weapon points. Well, yeah, but uh, as you noted, we can potentially get it in the Time Lords region, so might as well go there after all. Um, equipability, take out Kasumi. Um, we're going to keep... And let's take out Swallow Swing. We'll just use two Gale Slash... Because it's an it's another anti-air move. There we go. Yay, dual gun! Finally, something new for you, Captain Hamilton. Oh yeah, that's right. The Lord Star weapon. I'll have to see. If that's better for someone, okay. Oh, I had the behemoth rifle this whole time and I didn't even... Son of a bitch. Um... Oh, hell yeah. Let's do Silver Moon and Lord Star for a bit. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Actually, no, let's keep it at Silver Moon and Comet Blade. Okay. Well, I guess we were in better shape uh, as far as Captain, Captain Hamilton is concerned than I thought we were. Son of a bitch. Honestly, I think I might just go to the Time Lord's Realm. Well, okay, I'd, I'd have to resurrect the Time Lord's Realm, but I think I might just go there. <sighs> By that point, there'd be no reason not to uh, recruit the Time Lord, though. So, might as well do it. Because now I'm kind of dead set on uh, having the, the Black Dragon form. Ah, I didn't notice. Oh, jeez, Wind Blast? Son of a bitch. Um, I'll, I'll check it out next battle. Tres Flores! Oh, nice!
I do wish that there was a uh, an escape ability in this game. That would just warp you back to the dungeon entrance. Yep, there's Trace Flores. Nice. Might as well use it while I got it. <laughs> sure thing. I know you've really been getting into uh, Dragon Quest lately, and that was a hell of a deal. Chop, chop, chop! Man, next week is going to be mad. I'm going to be getting uh, Shining Wisdom and the Polymega in next week. And the Ever uh, uh, Evercade should be coming within the next couple of weeks, too. Nope, we don't need to do that. I actually still have 12 hours of PTO that I, I have yet to schedule. So I figured I'd, I'd wait until I knew exactly when that was coming in and, uh, schedule some additional time off. And at this point, it looks like it's going to be on a Tuesday, which is great because we usually don't have any meetings on Tuesdays that I would absolutely need to be a part of. And I'm also getting close to having a uh, my mess of projects done. Although I did start a new one today, and there's a fun story to this. So, someone came to me today and they're like, Hey, is there something that we can do to automate this particular SQL request? And I'm like, you know what? Not only that, but I've been tinkering with Python lately. I think I can make this a web page. Um, so, an hour later, I had the tool ready to go. And uh, they're all happy about it. And I'm like... Wait until I tell you what I named it. This is a tool for BAs, um, business uh, uh, associates, or I can't remember what what the, the, the term is, but they're D, they're they're BAs, and uh, it came together in my mind as a BA tool, and then mushed even closer together as a ba tool. So the, the new to, the new suite of tools that are going to be available to the BAs is called the Shepherd. <laughs> Not administrators, analysts. That's it. Business analysts. But uh, I, I had a uh, working demonstration. It's not interactive yet, but um, I had a working demonstration ready in about an hour and uh, showed it to one of the people that, that had requested, and she was all thrilled. 
so I'm I'm looking forward to uh, to that project because it's a request that comes in frequently enough that automating it and making it so that they can do it on demand is going to save all of us a fair amount of time over. I mean, it's a five minute request, but five minute requests done 20 times in a month really adds up. That's a hundred minutes that could have been spent doing some, you know, doing more work. But that kind of thing really jazzes me up at my job, so... <laughs> I'm... I'm... Really look... Trip gas. So I'm really looking forward to working on that project some more. Yeah, now they can do it even more because they don't have to be like, oh, crap, i got to make a request to Eric and he's one of two people that can do this right now and the only one on this half of the planet. Because <laughs> my only teammate now is in uh, um, India. So it's not exactly conducive to people making, you know, live requests. Um, yeah, that should do fine. Let's try to implode. Uh, well, let's do do that anyway. Bound shot. Can that get around her? No. Ah. I actually asked uh, one of my Indian co-workers that lives literally a couple miles down the road from me where she would go for uh, Indian food as a restaurant. And uh, she recommended me to this place that's on the other side of town. But I went there once and it is pretty damn good. And then I figured out how to uh, make something similar myself with um, uh, fish that I get at the supermarket and um, oh crap, where am I now? Fish I get at the supermarket and some uh, frozen um, chicken masala dinners. And I told her about that and she's like, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> at first I was like, you know, I, I hope this doesn't sound like sacrilege at all. <laughs> she's like, no, no, tell me. Uh, that looks like it's probably going to be something that's, uh... Sound resistant. No, that was, it was actually really good. Uh, that was the, uh, the thing that I got when I went to the, um, uh went to Maharaja was um, basically a salmon dish and it was pretty good. I've been getting more into fish over the past couple of years. It's not salmon tiki masala. It was something it had a different name to it. Let me see if I can remember. Uh, menu. Uh, Saloni Makchi.
And I'm probably murdering that, but uh, it was really quite good. I wasn't that uh, keen on the non. But it wasn't too bad. Here, I'll type it out here. Saloni Machi. Zoom. All right, let's grab that on the way out. Dude, casinos would be a lot more fun if you could save scum them. Oh! The bolt barrier activates immediately? Is that your doing, or have I just never seen that before? Huh. Sphinx riddle. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Damn, I, I love um, passive effects like that, too. So, ah, go ahead. Yeah, it wasn't really triggering very much for me, though. And when Sacred Song is pretty much a one-hit KO also. <laughs> Damn it. I was trying to look at my stream to see what item I got. Okay. That's a tree. Don't try to pick it up. Got that, Hanson? <laughs> All right. Air throw a cockatrice. That's fine. All right. We'll try the Sphinx riddle. Oh, that's only one enemy? Okay. Screw that. Um... Dual gun. Bear crush. All right. Well, and what sucks is then it's like a seven point thing that might work just doesn't really, I mean, I'm sure it's pretty awesome, but it just doesn't really make much sense to me over all of the other stuff, especially something like Sacred Song, which can do a shit ton of damage to the entire enemy group. Now let's, yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and two gale slash just for the hell of it. Yeah, I know, I know the weapon points are less of a concern with monsters. It's just, I'd rather have something that I know is going to work.
And I'm not saying, you know, shut the fuck up. I've heard enough from you or anything like that. <laughs> Having fun debating it. <laughs> um, double slash air throw sacred song. We'll see if that actually is resistant. Oh, nice. Zap. Ah, okay. It isn't immune to Sonic, but <laughs> sure is resistant to it. Oh, gotcha. Yes, I've heard of that game. <laughs> it is a pretty hilarious title. It's right up there with uh, um, Little Red Riding Hood Zombie Barbecue, which is like $200. Uh, sign of the Times, my friend, Sign of the Times. Okay, I want to see if we can make a run at the final boss here in the last hour. So we're going to go rest up in Kurong first. Oh, fair enough. Buy some hyperware? Where is hyperware? Um, let's go do wind blast. Oh, there it is. Cool. Armor shop in Kurong? Okay. We'll rest first because it's on the way. <laughs> okay, now I got to remember where the armor shop is. <laughs> nice yeah a couple months ago when uh oh wow i've got plenty to sell here um i had uh infamous over to do some uh cable management and uh we left room for the polymega and evercade Currently, I do have some uh, DVDs in that spot, but I'll be happy to move those later tonight. Gotta protect your neck. There it is. Hyperware. Okay. That's pretty damn cheap. The only problem with uh, with it, though, is that uh, I've had some rough times trying to, like, mess with cables because um, 
like I was having some trouble with the PS5 and the PSVR. So I had to shuffle cables around and there is like no play on those cables. Also, it's entirely possible that we may have gotten a bunch of cables that were uh, not, I mean, obviously with how cheap they are, I'm not surprised at this, but uh, they may not have been the best quality and uh, may be causing some issues. I mean, it still looks fantastic, though. Um, okay, so we want to equip... Oh, yeah, you're still wearing a cotton shirt. You're still wearing your Budo wear. Um, oh, Captain Hamilton is, lab like, really... Uh, resistant here. I don't think we're going to need the Pearl Heart going into the final battle, though. Oh, and there's something fun about the dual uh, cartridge port, too. You may know this, but other people might not. Um, they've actually gotten things set up so, like, uh, different combinations of cartridges. So in the, in the Evercade Versus, you're going to be able to plug in two cartridges at once. And it'll just come up as one long list of games on the screen. But different combinations of cartridges will unlock extra games that wouldn't be on those cartridges if you just plugged them in individually. So that's going to be a fun thing to, uh, to kind of look into also. I'm still not sure whether I want to go ahead and complete the collection, but... It might be fun. Sonic and Knuckles and Knuckles and Knuckles. <laughs> okay. Uh, as far as that's concerned, um, Captain Hamilton does have a decent amount of magic points. So... Let's go ahead and swap out that Golden Fleece for... Whoops, not nothing. Celestial Leather. There we go. She also has the backpack, but, you know, we can stretch that out a bit. Isn't there a place that we can buy more power cures? I can't remember. But apparently Sonic and Knuckles does work properly on the uh, Polymega, so I'm pleased with that. Potion shop in Kurong near the port. Okay. Is this guy? Yeah. Oh, let's just go right to Max Cures. Okay. Um, well, we'll just kind of make sure we've got... Plenty on hand. There we go. Ah, oh, neat. Um, DM me that uh, that channel and I'll on uh, Twitter, and I'll take a look later. Uh, why is there nothing that restores weapon points? Okay, let's save. That's true. There are sanctuary stones. Okay. Where to? Omi. Yes. 
Um, because there's something that restores hit points, there's something that restores spell points, but nothing that restores weapon points other than mech abilities. Yep, I just did a full save. Plop, plop. Where are you going? What you buying? Man, no one wants to talk to me. What kind of tr what kind of pirate ship is this? There's no booty to plunder. Yar, I know I've got it locked down because I'm a pirate ship, you dumbass. <laughs> Thank you. Ready to get into Mondo Base? Ready. I'm pretty sure I wasn't this powered up when I did this and, uh, on, um, the remaster. Destination Wakatu, engage. The secret base is in Wakatu? Yep. That's why those bastards killed my people. It's payback time. A Trinity ship's approaching. It's a combat type. That's a big-ass combat type. Must be one of Mondo's. You're gonna fight that huge ship? Just sit back and enjoy the ride. This is Nelson's secret vessel. Maximum speed changed to a collision course with the enemy vessel. Maximum speed reached. Maintaining course. Collision with the enemy ship in exactly seven seconds. What are you going to do? Kamikaze them? Get ready to fire. Got a bunch of redheads behind the guns. Maintain the course. They're not shooting. We're in their blind spot. And we're extremely tiny compared to them. Full turn. Full turn. Get ready to fire port side guns. Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Now fire. That's really quite cool. <laughs> it's a good fire animation. Good, we heavily damaged them. All personnel report to battle stations. Now what? After firing has ceased, we'll board the ship. This is the pirate way. Our radar has detected a small vessel leading the, leaving the ship. It's heading toward Wakatu. Mondo's running away. Cease fire! We're going to pursue the small vessel. In our small vessel. Wow, yeah. That is pretty good. Oh god, yeah, I forgot about that. Oh well. Yeah, I'll fix that after this fight. <laughs> Up against a single cockatrice. Petrify. Interesting.
Okay, quick ability. Ba -ba -ba. Stone gas, take that off in favor of ground hit. Fang. Let's see. What should we throw in there instead? Bolt barrier, maybe? Could be fun. Angry. Okay. Um. Uh, that's true. I, I guess I wasn't really planning to use that. In fact, I was debating removing it. Hmm, Maelstrom might be ha fun to have around. Oh, wait, no. Um, let's do Gremlin Touch, just in case we uh, happen across any max. Scream good for form? Okay. Alright, so we'll put Sphinx Riddle in there. And then swap in Scream. Where is it? Wait, what was that? Okay. I'm <laughs> like, what was that with the question marks? Oh yeah, I suppose Wind Blast does the same thing, doesn't it? Um, there's Scream. So... Yeah. Alright, let's just throw, uh... Maelstrom in there, and after all, there we go. And you... Do, do. Okay, we're good. I ain't got time for you hoes. Just gonna waste my time anyway, because, like... All of these are extremely low-level mobs. One-shotting Kraken, yeah. Um... There we go. Really? Is it? Okay. <laughs> what a good Dobby. Oh yeah, I know. Siren happened by earlier for a little bit. Level two. There.
Hey there, fat man. Or fat devil. Yay, combos. I love your uh, your one concession to uh, living in Wisconsin there, while still remaining a Jets fan, infamous. <laughs> ah, I have to go up those stairs. <laughs> Jeez, it takes up like a quarter of the screen. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and riddle them this. Well, there you go. Nope, no good. There we go. I mean, we are also, like, fairly solidly powered up here, so I'm not too concerned about this. Well, well, stood up to its name. It did actually KO him, KO him with a throw. Yeah, there there are still persistent rumors that he's not going to be a Packer for long. But yeah. It's, it's amazing if you know what it kills. Yeah, I, and that's that's the problem. <laughs> Most of the time when I'm going through a dungeon area, I'm not thinking too hard about it. I'm just picking stuff that is just going to do the trick and get me through the dungeon. Hey, Jesha, I can't remember. Do you have um, Mario Kart on your Switch? Because, I mean... I'm obviously going to bring my Switch over because, you know, we'll have 
new old Pokemon games. And I thought uh, it might be in interesting if Infamous brought his and... play a little bit of uh, some multiplayer. Very well may be. Normally I wouldn't have brought mine, but again, it's... Uh, I got the uh, double pack of uh, Diamond and Pearl that I'm uh, splitting with Jesha. Thud. Ah, okay. Dang it. I don't have Mario Golf or Tennis. <clears throat> Actually, uh, out of all, all those games, the only one I do have is Mario Odyssey. Lee's mom only has um, Animal Crossing for her Switch. <laughs> do, 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 do. I've been curious about Mario Maker. It's one of those games that if I saw it for a good, uh, like, low price, I might grab it, but... Friggin' arms is still 40 bucks. I'm guessing I can't get past this guy. Oh, yeah. I guess I can. Sweet. Whoa, whoa, oh, 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 ho, ho, ho. Um, yep, here we go. Okay. <clears throat> Badass power up sequence. Crunch. Do, 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 Only brute force can rule the regions. Fools like you will only understand if it's beaten into you. Oh, come on. Amelia, Celis, Loot. Okay. Oh. Just a matter of dealing damage. Okay. Got it. Um, yeah, let's just do Trace Flores, Dream Super Combo. Um, sure, Maelstrom. Light Sword. And Bound Shot.
I forgot to uh, equip the uh, shield card. Ooh, that definitely wasn't worth it. Vitality rune is on the hyperweave? Okay. Okay, so let's just have everyone just take a turn and Vitality Rune. Except Thunder. How are people doing? Ah, don't need to heal yet. Um, what you got? Let's do ground hit. Ooh, turbid current. Neat. But what we want to do is vitality rune. And there we go. That'll give everybody regen. Didn't realize that there would be that um, stomp attack, but... Yep, Thunder will get one next turn. Um, Go Trace Flores, Dream Super Combo, um, let's try Wind Blast, Rouge, go ahead and Mega Wind Blast, and we'll have Captain Hamilton handle Vitality Rune on Thunder. Yeah, I guess that's a point. That's not very effective. Okay, well, that phase is done. Um, let's give loot a uh, heal and throttle down a little bit here. Hmm. Honestly, it might be better to have Thunder doing healing duties. And Well, let's do uh, Turbid Current, see how that goes. Captain Hamilton, get back to bound shot. Ooh, level 3 combo!
<laughs> nice. All right. Iron pole. Oh, that was that was rude. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's let's heal Jen. <laughs> See how that goes. Yeah, that's great, but I couldn't see how much damage it did. Assholes. Changing form. Good. Is this the last form yet? <laughs> I mean, come on, this is getting ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> no. Alright. You go ahead and keep doing headwind. Jen, I think I'm going to have you... No, oh, no, you don't have anything else to work with. Uh, let's do a Babel Crumble. Okay, I want to stay above 51 weapon points. Yeah, I mean, the, the guide says that there are six forms. This is, what, number three? Oh, it's uh uh Dave going to be there? Um, okay, you go ahead and heal yourself, Thunder. Rouge. Gotcha. Cool. Rouge, you heal yourself. Captain Hamilton, you heal yourself. Yeah, you do your counter ECM. <laughs> Ooh, that's effective. Why is Jen not recovering anymore? Uh, I'm going to have to have his um, vitality rune topped up. Same with Thunder. All right, you two keep going with that. Thunder, go ahead and think someone still needs healing. Nope. We're good. All right. Go ahead and let's try Gale attack. Uh, 
Vitality Rune on Thunder. Vitality Rune on Jen. <laughs> yeah, most of the time they don't. Eh. Shoot all. Um, yeah, everybody's in good shape. Everyone attack this round. Okay, actually, hold on. Let's do Giant Swing, and then we'll have enough weapon points left for three Dream Super Combos. Um... No, actually, let's uh, Turbid Current again. And... Bound Shot. Now that doesn't sound good. Holy crap! I don't think I've ever seen an enemy do four digits of damage to... in a single attack. That is insane. Okay. Thunder, scrape him up. <laughs> that's... that's nutty. Yay, deflect. Nice job, Rouge. Found shot right in the dick. Okay. Well. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now I will start pouring it on. Oh no, not the iron pole. Okay. Go ahead and do that. Dream super combo, but you're going to have thunder, heal, loot. Um... Rouge, go ahead and actually use some of your magic for once. And Captain Hamilton, I'm going to have you power cure Rouge. Nice! That was cool looking. Did I just kill it? Yelp. Bitchin.
Hello, did Sir Lute come home? Sir? You mean my stupid son? No, he hasn't. If he's not here, where might I find him? If you don't mind, would you get out of my house? Anyone who want to see that idiot must be nuts too. Ma! Loot! How long have you been hiding there? Are you a spy now? Sorry, Ma, but everybody's depending on me. I'm beat. Yeah! Another 20 years before I decide to uh, play through the game again. <laughs> but I have enjoyed it, yes. So, you finally become useful to society. Are you going out, Ma? I'm going to the cemetery to tell your dad a friend of his just died. Although I'm pretty sure they're already talking to each other right now. In hell! He was dad's best friend? Yeah, so much that even I got jealous of them sometimes. There you are! Sir, please re return to our emergency meeting immediately. Trinity's future depends on you. Yipes, they found me! What? Loot? They're depending on you. This must be the end of the world. You said it, Ma. Thanks for the advice. Please, sir, wait! Where's the system data? In slot one. No, I think she was jealous of their bromance. Come on. Um, okay, so how do I get to the... <laughs> Do -do -do. Oh yeah, that's right. The whole thing with the angel wings. Yeah, I thought it would just throw me in there. Crap. Is there a way for us to see... Like, if we go into the, the save game data, is there a way for us to see... To edit it so that it's complete? There should be. I mean, I'm pretty sure I used the system data the whole time, but there's really no way to tell. Okay, well, I will have to figure that out. Um... And, uh, we'll, uh, we'll explore the, uh, programmer's room on the next, uh, Saga Frontier stream, then. Because I have now finished all seven storylines here on the stream for Saga Frontier Classic. So... Um, our next full Saga Frontier stream, you know, aside from the programmer's room, will be back to Saga Frontier Remaster. And then once we finish the next uh, Saga Frontier Remaster quest, we're going to be playing some Brave Fencer Musashi. So I'm looking forward to that. I don't suspect your mod either. Um... I've been transferring this back and forth. Uh, it's been over the course of three or four years. It's entirely possible that uh, something might have gotten um, 
screwed up over time. So I will probably just have to uh, edit the save data, but I have proof <laughs> that I've done every single quest here. So I, I, I feel justified. Um, to do. Okay. As far as raids, I think we're going to go raid Purse tonight. He is playing Twilight Princess HD. Come on, there we go. So, thanks for dropping by. I always appreciate it. Um, keep an eye on my Twitter at Tesseract Unfold um, because what I had planned for next Sunday may get shifted. So we'll, I'll, I'll keep you posted there. But um, we've got two more uh, peripheral focus streams, and then uh, next. Next week, we'll also be doing Saga Frontier some more. But uh, rest well when you do. And until then, enjoy Purse. <laughs>